A 58-year-old male was brought into ER by the ambulance, having complaints of a sudden loss of consciousness with a GCS of 3. The paramedic told the ER doctor, when they arrived at the scene, he had a pulse rate of 90, was hypertensive with systolic blood pressure of 200, and had a persistent GCS of 3. They placed a laryngeal mask and brought him into the department. In the department, a rapid examination revealed. Vitals reveals a pulse rate of 87 beats per minute, BP was 144.80, with a respiratory rate of 12, and GCS 3. Dual heart sounds. On chest auscultation, had crepitations in the right lung. There was no response to pain. The planters were upgoing bilaterally. The ER doctor then looked for the doll's eye sign of the patient, which turned out to be negative. The next thing doctor did is, he intubated the patient to get an immediate CT scan and admitted the patient to ICU. So what exactly is this doll's eye sign? What's its significance and how to check it? Let's understand in this activity focused on neuroassessment of patients in critical care medicine. In the critical care unit, assessment of the neurological status of a patient is extremely important. In this neuroassessment series, we have explained the Glasgow Coma Scale or GCS, Sepsis Scale or SARS, and various other neural signs and reflexes. Now we will look at the doll's eye sign in patients with altered consciousness. The doll's eye sign is also called an oculocephalic reflex. Ocular means eyes or eyepiece, and cephalus meaning brain, reflex means response. So oculocephalic reflex is a responsive connection between brain and eyes in lemon language. What this reflex does is determine the mental status of the patient, more particularly, obtaining information if the patient is in the comatose stage. During neuroassessment, the examiner should look for the doll's eye sign in patients who have altered level of consciousness in patients who have intracranial bleed and post-surgical and craniotomy procedures. The oculocephalic reflex or doll's eyes reflex is an application of the vestibular ocular reflex used for neurologic examination of cranial nerves 3, 6, and 8, the reflex arc including brainstem nuclei and overall gross brainstem function. The reflex derives its name from the characteristic doll's eye appearance that a patient has if the reflex is positive. So, here's how to perform examinations and how to interpret results or to see if a doll's eye sign is positive or negative. Note that the examiner should not perform the reflex on those patients with head or neck injuries that could be further injured by the reflex technique. So first of all, ensure your safety. Use gloves and surgical gown or kit if the patient is COVID-19 positive and proceed further, because mucormycosis is horrible, so be cautious. Now, hold the patient's head with eyelids open and rotate the head side to side briskly. Observe a positive oculocephalic reflex or positive doll's eye sign when the patient moves their eyes opposite of the rotation of their head, such that their eyes stay looking forward. Observe a negative oculocephalic reflex when the patient's eyes stay midline and do not move while the examiner rotates the head. This is called the negative doll's eye sign which indicates the patient is in comatose state or brain dead. Note that the designation of positive, eyes moving in the opposite direction of head movement indicating an intact brainstem function, or negative, eyes moving towards the same direction of head movement indicating severe brainstem dysfunction, doll's eyes reflex is an oversimplification, and that some eye movement with nystagmus can occur in pathologic states, 